The temperature is rising at the 2014 Red Bull Air Race World Championship as the battle for the title advanced to the next round. The third stop brought the pilots to Putrajaya in Malaysia, 35 degrees Celsius up to 90% air humidity and again an all new racetrack to master. Occasional rain, heat and decreased air density were major factors this race day as they had quite an impact on the plane's manoeuvrability. It's like walking in the sand compared to cold air. Uh, the air is much thicker. You don't have so much uh, response. Everything goes slower, the acceleration, the power. Uh, you have just to adjust the flying style to the temperature. The Putrajaya racetrack adds a new feature, two full laps, three vertical turns and the pilots flew out and back instead of doing circles around the track. Hannes Ark dominated the top 12 with perfect entry speed at 200 knots and Martin Schonker was the surprise as one of the two lucky losers racing his best time of the weekend. After struggling in Croatia, Nigel Lamb was back on track in the Super 8 with a strong performance. One minute, 16.200 seconds. A personal best, which paved the way to the final four. However, the Super 8's breaking story was reigning double world champion Paul Bonham and able to keep up with the pace of the race day's strongest pilots. The British gentleman was in fourth position when his biggest rival, Hannes Ark, knocked him out of the competition as the Austrian flew a fast, error-free time. Therefore, no neck-and-neck -neck race between the leading two pilots in the World Championship standings. The Putrajaya Final Four really spiced up this year's competition. Nigel Lamb regained full strength after his ravine dropout and started furiously, performing a stellar run, the cleanest the crowd had seen all weekend. A truly magnificent performance, Nigel Lamb breaking the track record with a mind-blowing 1 minute 15.023 seconds. But he had to wait and watch three remaining runs. Matt Hall showed off an impressive performance, finishing in 1 minute 15.691, more than six tenths of a second slower than Lamb. The Brit was still at the top of the table. So all eyes on Pete McLeod, the youngest pilot in the field, wanted to put the pressure on the leading two, but excessive speed at the start gate led to a DNF and did not finish. Last to go, Austrian ace Hannes Ark. The man clearly to beat, having been fastest in qualifying and the top 12. But he wasn't able to match the track record set by Nigel Lamb. Lamb showed a breathtaking comeback and rewarded himself with his first ever win in the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Seven years of racing, 44 Red Bull Air Race competitions, including today's result, seven career podiums. I never thought it'd be this. I'd feel this emotional. Whew. It's a great feeling. Why so emotional? I don't know. Seven years, all the ups, all the downs, and then uh, this is a payoff. I think. I mean, for all the amazing help I've had from my team, and it's just I, I, honestly, I would never have imagined how I feel like this. So the Putrajaya podium saw Matt Hall in third, and Hannes Ark takes second place, taking him to the top of the leaderboard in the overall rankings. And Nigel Lamb was over the moon, having accomplished his lifelong dream to win a race at the Red Bull Air Race World Championship.